Hi everyone, this is Cheryl Allen, and welcome to Cheryl Allen's Empower Yourself. Today I'm going to be doing a video uh, that I've been wanting to film for so long, but I just couldn't get myself to do it. I've been gone a while, I know you guys have noticed. I'm gonna start from the beginning. Um, I'm an empath, and a lot of you guys know that, that subscribe to my channel. And I was just feeling down and depressed and way, something was weighing really heavy on me. And I, it, it's not that I knew the virus was coming, but it, I knew it's like I could just feel something was coming, you know? Um, so the virus happened, you know, we all were watching it overseas and, and then it got over here in, in the United States where I am. And uh, my son right away, caught it um it scared me to death he felt like he was gonna die it was just so scary um some time went on I I was so careful I mean so so careful what happened uh one night we got a call that my mother-in-law and father-in-law were really really sick and so we rushed around over to their house and I slept I didn't wear my mask or anything. I was just so concerned with them because he has stage four cancer, had stage four cancer. So anyway, um, ambulance took him and uh, I'm sorry, the ambul ambulance took my mother-in-law and I gave them all her medicine, everything that she'd been touching. And my husband drove, um, his father-in-law. Well, turns out they both had COVID. And, um, so me and my husband got sick right, right away. I'm telling you like two days later, we were both not feeling well. Um, my chest, um, was like, I felt the stinging sensation was the first thing. Just, um, I had never felt my chest sting like that. And I've had lung issues in the past. It was like stinging, you know, and, and it just wouldn't go away. Um, so then, uh, next thing I started having a sore throat and I said to myself, this isn't good. So me and my children and my grandson, we went and got tested and lo and behold, I was positive. My grandson was positive, which was, he had no symptoms at all. I'm, and he felt so bad. He's like, do you think I spread it to everyone? It was just, you know, he felt so guilty, but I, you know, no, you could get it from anywhere. But anyway, um, so yeah, I'm positive. So, you know, at first I was like, okay, you know, I could, I could fight through this. Well, um, see, and this is what happens like in the middle of a sentence, I will forget what I'm talking about and just lose this ever since the COVID. So it just progressively got worse. Um, the next symptom was, I have a new cat, by the way, <laughs> his name is Lincoln, uh, but it, back to the focus on the COVID. So I started getting runny nose and all of that, body aches, chills, that's Lincoln up there, <laughs> he's my new kitten. Um, Miss Feisty is, she didn't want to film today. Um, we've been through so much, guys, you wouldn't believe it. My dog, Feisty, lost her eye, and the other eye went blind from the Bufo toad incident. Um, when, he, they squirt, when he squirted her in the face, it damaged her eyes. Um, so she's completely blind now, Feisty is. And our other dog passed away, um, Biggie, Biggie Smalls. Um, we lost him. We lost six people to this. Um, I'll get into that, but back to the, um, the symptoms, then my tongue, this, this was the, and I'm still dealing with it now. My tongue went completely smooth, like a dolphin. Like it was, it was like the texture of a dolphin it Had no taste buds on it. I couldn't smell anything. This was like around the fifth day, you know, then I started like having a feeling a rattling in my chest and I knew that was mucus. I, I, I heard that vitamin D and zinc um, really worked wonders against the virus. So I immediately, immediately started um, taking as much vitamin D as I could. And I, I, would, I, I really took care of my skin, sunscreen. 
I said, forget the skin, forget everything. And I stayed outside as much as I could, getting as much vitamin D as I could. So I'm gonna have to drink water through this video because my tongue and mouth get so dry that I literally can't even talk. I have to sip water all day long. So once that happened and the rattling in the chest began, I couldn't smell or taste anything. Um, now that around the sixth day, I was taking Mucinex um, too. They, they, someone had said to me to take it. I, I don't know if it was my conference call I had with my doctor, I can't remember. But anyway, I was taking the Mucinex too because the stuff, the, the mucus from this is so thick it's like, it's almost impossible to cough it up. It's crazy. Um, so Mucinex thins it and it really helps a lot. So if you do have it, you wanna start taking Mucinex right away. In my opinion, I'm not a doctor. So this is just what happened for me. So, you know, it helped me. Um, I take a, a mixture of elderberry, zinc, and, um, and vitamin D that um, the Calm by Wellness people sent me, um, which was so nice of them. Uh, and um, I take that now just to keep my immune system up and everything. Um, so then come the blood. So I'm started, starting to cough up blood. Um, it scared me really bad. I don't like hospitals. Um, I felt like if I go to the hospital and they put me in the ward with the COVID people, you know, I, I just, if something was going to happen to me, I wanted to pass away peacefully at my house. You know, my husband felt the same way. So we both had it. We both laid in this bed and, oh, it was just horrible. I can not tell you how enough, how horrible it was. Um, it's like the worst flu you ever had and multiply it by 10. Just sweat, body aches. Um, fever. Um, I, I mean, the blood was just terrifying. And then as time went on, after a few more days, the blood became darker. Um, I, I mean, I was having the hardest time getting all the, the stuff out of my lungs. Um, but I started, um, improving slowly. Uh, I would go outside and just sweat it out. You know, um, my doctor, I did a conference call with her. She gave me um, dexamethasone, which is a steroid. And she also called in some other um, other things for me. But the dexamethasone, I, I know that saved me. It, it, I know it did. It's a steroid and literally I'm blown up over it, but I'm alive, you know. All my hair is falling out still. This is all my hair left. <laughs> this is a quarter of what my hair used to be. I mean, when I wash it, it's just handfuls coming out. I started using Rogaine because um, I do know that that works. I'm hoping it will. Um, so I am what they call a long hauler, long termer. I would always go back and get tested and everyone ended up negative, thank God. But I would keep testing positive, just keep testing positive, <laughs> you know, and um, I, it did damage to my organs too. I, my left kidney, um, it hurts so bad. I actually have an appointment with the kidney doctor um, next week, but the pain is just totally excruciating. My lungs, I, it, I hear wheezing like I, I'm wheezing bad. Like I know I need to get my lungs checked too. Um, what what's remaining now? My tongue. Um, it'll be normal one day, and then the next, it will hurt so bad, and they'll be like, um, it'll be smooth again. Like the taste buds just go away, and then like maybe later that day they'll start coming back again, and when they come back it hurts so bad like you know and then I'll have my taste buds back and then you know a week later they'll like a area of them will go away this is just an ongoing thing with the taste buds I don't know what the heck 
that is about this does, um, virus is so weird. It, it does so many different things to so many different people, but that's just something it's done to me. If, if any of you guys have had it and that happened to you, please leave um, a comment below and uh, let me know, you know. But yeah, my mouth constant, constant, constantly is dry, dry, dry. Um, I, my ankles are swelling up. Like I, w I was already having issues um, before because I have autoimmune disease. I have lupus and fibromyalgia. <laughs> So, you know, um, it just, it just did a number on me. Um, now yeah, I'm going to tell you, I've, I've lost six people since this started. My aunt was my, um, my everything. I talked to her, gosh, I don't even know, several times a day, several, I mean, for uh, <laughs> it's my aunt, you know, and, um, of course I have a brother, um, left and a sister-in-law, which I thank God for. And um, they were very supportive, so supportive. Um, but I lost my aunt. Then we lost a lady that um, I care for at my rooming house. Um, one of the tenants said that they hadn't seen her and they smelled something. So we found her, we had to kick the door in um, and we found her on the floor. Um, my pride and joy success story, Wes. I posted about him one time. I think it was either on my Facebook or my Instagram, but um, he was here one day, went to work. And, um, he was on dialysis already and um, he was stumbling around on the front porch because the guys always meet here before the crews go out for the night. And I said, are you okay? And he said, oh, I'm okay. Well, we couldn't, no one found him. Dialysis called because we're his, we were his only family. He had just moved out on his own. Um, he was promoted to supervisor. He worked for us and he bought himself a little RV that he lived in. I, I mean, he, he was just, he accepted God. Just this guy was on the right track of just, you know, just so many beautiful things that I saw and so, so much hatred leave him for his circumstances before. And anyway, long story short, we found him dead in his RV and it was very traumatic. And we also lost, uh, it's, um, I, matter of fact, I just left a funeral today for my father-in-law. Um, my husband's father passed away. Um, he went, I told you about the first time he had COVID. Well, he got it a second time. Um, people always go over there and, and drop their kids off and they don't wear a mask and the kids will be sick and just no consideration at all. And this man's fighting stage four cancer, you know? So basically that's what happened. It, it, you know, COVID just did, did wreaked havoc on his body because I know the ha what it did to me and my husband knows what it did to him. And so for a stage four cancer patient to have it twice, it just did him in, you know? And of course he ended up negative at the end and came home and, and he passed away at, in his house. But it's just been so, so sad. And we've lost other friends too, um, really close friends. Um, an, an, a man who I considered my father, um, Not we're not blood related, but he's always been a father to me, a father figure to me. And um, he passed away, you know, and I just don't even, I don't even know what to say. <laughs> Guys, let me get some water here real quick. Please, please, I'm begging you, please be careful. Please, please put a mask on. It does protect you. And I know... I know people have lit, it's like been politicized or whatever. I don't care what party you're on. I love everybody. Just protect yourself. You know, you could pick it up and not have any symptoms like my grandson. He had no, not any symptoms. This kid had no symptoms, you know, and then you can go and visit your mom and give it to her and she'll pass away just like my aunt did. 
you know, there, there was a, a girl that was working at the um, nursing home that she was at, and the girl had gone out to a club and um, then came to work and infected nine patient, nine residents, ended up with COVID. And my aunt was the one who died. She was everything to me. So it's been a really, really tough road and just everything back to back to back. So it, it took me some time to compose myself and come back on here. But I just wanted to let all of you know, if you're a subscriber, you, I love you so much. If you're not a subscriber, I would so much appreciate if you would subscribe to my channel and um, hit the like but button and the bell and all of that good stuff. Really would appreciate it. I think I have some pretty fun content. I do, con I do giveaways and a lot of stuff and there, I have a lot of exciting content coming up too. It's just, I had to get this video out, um, out there to you and let you know that this thing is so serious. It's so serious. And you don't, I mean, I'm serious. Like bam, 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 losing people, you know, lose left and right. <laughs> it's man, it's, it's, it's terrible. And then now there's supposed to be a new strain and all kinds of other stuff. I don't know, but that's, I'm, you know, that's all I really had to say. I just wanted to let y'all know um, where I've been and I wanted to give you my rundown on, on the COVID and how everything went for me. I'm trying to remember if there's anything else. Um, the tongue thing, like my, my mouth get so dry constantly. It's every day um, that I literally have to keep drinking water just to wet it inside. It's like so dry. It's horrible. It never goes away either. Like all through the night it wakes me up. Uh, hair falling out in handfuls still. Memory shot. My memory is completely shot. It wasn't great before. <laughs> But it's so bad right now, like everybody is noticing. So it did something to my brain, seriously. And it, um, it affected my kidney uh, really bad. And also um, one of my organs is not working at all. My bladder, it just, it, it's not, um, it's not working at all. I went to the surgeon who did my hysterectomy. She's a urogynecologist. Um, I did have a car accident though, and, um, I could have undone the surgery that she did to fix some issues I was having. So who knows, but, um, I do know the kidney is, is, um, from that. It started after the, when I got COVID, um, it hurts so, so, so bad <laughs> and, and the wheezing. Um, I think that's really about it as, as far as. Um, lingering symptoms after it goes away. Um, yeah, after it goes away, um, I, a lot of people say they feel fine. My daughter, um, my husband, me, my mother-in-law, all of us still don't feel right. Um, we still have some serious stuff going on with us, you know? So, uh, I pray that you guys don't get this. Um, but if you do, you know, um, make sure you're taking lots of zinc, lots of vitamin D, get in the sun. It's very important to get in the sun and sweat, you know, keep yourself hydrated. Um, elderberry is great at the very beginning. If you can get a hold of it, um, Cinecot, Cinecol, it's, it's at the drugstore. Um, you know, and make sure you're taking something for the mucus because that is a big factor with with this, um, this epidemic here. Uh, I love you guys. Thank you so much for watching my channel. And I'm sorry it was some sad stuff in there, but I had to let you guys know my truth and what's been going on and why I've been gone. And, um, it's like, as soon as I stop, you know, we never stop mourning, but as soon as I start feeling better, you know, with mourning the loss of someone, bam, you know, here's another one and bam, here's another one. And you know, 
So that's where I've been. <laughs> but I do plan to be back um, and filming. Oh, excuse me. I'm so sorry. This is going to be really crazy with this mouth and me talking a lot. <laughs> But yeah, I have some really good stuff coming up. So I will let you guys go. Love you. Um, subscribe if you haven't, please. <laughs> Bye, guys.